Say hi, everybody. Oh, hi. We haven't even gotten our hair combed today. Well, let's examine that hair. <laughs> It's mm. for two of a kind, though. <laughs> yeah, well, next to Emily, everybody looks freshly done up. Uh, are we reading a book? What book are you reading? The Nutcracker. The what? The Nutcracker. Is that what that says on the front of that book? Yep. Who's in the story? Lyra. Uh-huh. And what Who's her brother? I heard that. I don't know who that is. It's, it's a girl <clears throat> from a Mm-hmm. What happens to Clara in the story? Um, she just gets a beautiful red nutcracker. Uh-huh. And what happens? What does the nutcracker do? Um, 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 Clara, um, she grabbed the nutcracker from Clara and said, he is ugly, and then put the nut in the mouth, and then grabbed it, and then the jaw was broken. Oh, no. Okay. On Christmas Eve, Clara's parents gave a wonderful party. The Christmas tree sparkled and many presents lay beneath it. Ooh, I got a ball and a horn, a teddy bear. The last guest to arrive at the party was Herr Drosselmeyer, Clara's godfather. Everyone loved him. He was a wonderful toy maker, and he told marvelous stories. His toys were so lifelike, the children wondered if they were actually real. As soon as Christmas dinner was finished, the children eagerly unwrapped their gifts. He's got a big gift for him. Yeah. <gasps> this Christmas, Herr Drosselmeyer brought Clara a very special present. And it's the Nutcracker! Yeah, dressed like a soldier! This is my favorite Christmas present, Clara said with delight. Fritz glared at the nutcracker and said, he's ugly. Yeah, that's what I told you. Yeah, told you. just like you said. He grabbed the nutcracker from Clara, pushed a nut into his mouth, and slammed it shut. And crack. And, and, and then the nutcracker's jaw was broken. Yes. Almost in tears, Clara picked up the nutcracker. He'll be handsome again in the morning, whispered Herr, Herr Drosselmeyer as he tied a handkerchief around the nutcracker's broken jaw. Late that night, as the clock struck midnight, Clara tiptoed to the toy room to check on her broken nutcracker. She was startled. Herr Drosselmeyer was sitting on top of the clock while mice scampered across the floor. They are happy mice. They sure are. The mice seemed larger than life to Clara, as did Fritz's toy and soldiers. That's the mad mice, and that's the happy mice. Mm -hmm. Soon the toy soldiers and the mice were engaged in battle. Bugles were blowing and drums were beating. To Clara's amazement, the Nutcracker came to life, grabbed a sword, and joined the battle. Suddenly an evil mouse king wearing a golden crown and carrying a sword appeared out of the ranks of the mice. As the mouse